Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Vivek. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss a very important topic with you, which is Corona discharge and Corona loss in a transmission line. Uh, corona discharge and Corona loss is something which impacts uh, the uh, you know performance of the transmission line so here we will try to analyze it and we will try to see it mathematically and we will try to derive uh, an equation uh, which can give us an idea how corona discharge impacts the transmission line performance and how depend uh, how it is dependent upon various factors okay so to begin with we have to understand what is corona discharge first of all Corona discharge is nothing. It is basically the ionization of uh, the air surrounding a transmission line because of higher voltages of the transmission line. So how this ionization happens and what is the impact? Let's say we have a transmission line something like this and a very high voltage is going through this. It is carrying a very high voltage. Now there is a certain voltage beyond which what happens uh, the the voltage is so high okay beyond a certain voltage what happens the voltage becomes so high that it breaks the air molecules okay so we have uh, how we see a molecule it is something like this the nucleus is at the center and electrons are revolving okay electrons are revolving now what happens because of higher voltages an electrostatic stress is experienced by these air molecules so basically it it looks something like this okay i'm not drawing it appropriately but just for understanding so the nucleus is here the plus charge and then electrons are here the electron is attracted to the higher voltage transmission line and basically at a voltage what happens it rips apart that is the plus and minus charges rip apart okay these minus charges are electrons and as we know free electrons are carrier of what free electrons are carrier of the electric current so because of that a uh, number of electrons appear uh, here 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 on the body of the transmission line and they carry the electric current so because of that a bluish or a greenish glow is seen around the transmission line which is basically known as the corona discharge okay uh, we will be seeing how it impacts uh, and what is the effect of the corona and uh, the voltage uh, beyond which this happens is known as the cr critical disruptive voltage so higher the critical disruptive voltage less will be the chance of happening any corona discharge okay it is the limit uh, critical disruptive voltage is the limit beyond which the corona phenomenon happens now let us talk about the critical disruptive voltage what is it critical disruptive voltage is the voltage beyond which the corona discharge takes place in a more formal way what we can say is that when the maximum electric field equals the dielectric strength of the air surrounding the conductor it is known as the critical disruptive voltage so we have a voltage uh, that is carried by the uh, transmission line and uh, at a certain voltage we have certain electric field so the maximum electric field intensity of the transmission line when equals the dielectric strength of the air. What is the dielectric strength? It is the potential gradient at which dielectric disrupts fully. Okay. So that is known as the dielectric strength. So basically it means we saw that uh, the air molecule was ripped apart into plus and minus charges. Okay. The plus is and minus. It ionizes. This is called ionization. So the uh, the dielectric strength is the measurement of the strength of uh, uh, the air or any such medium which is exposed to a very high voltage okay so the strength of the material is known as the dielectric strength it is denoted in voltage per centimeter that is how much amount of voltage is required per centimeter for the atom to disintegrate or to ionize into plus and minus charges okay that's what it actually means when we say the dielectric strength okay so 
the voltage at which maximum electric field equals the dielectric strength of the air surrounding is known as the critical disruptive voltage so this is a formal way uh, for a simpler understanding you can just say that the voltage at which the you know corona discharge happens the voltage beyond which the corona discharge take place is known as the critical disruptive voltage now let us go into the analysis part uh, so what you are seeing on the screen is a single phase system okay single phase two wire system so we can see that uh, we have a transmission line one is the forward path one is the return path okay so uh, the forward path has been shown carrying charge plus q and the return path is carrying charge minus q okay so uh, th this is basically the same transmission line but it is one is in the forward direction another is in the reverse direction radius of the forward uh, uh, transmission line let's say ra and the radius of the reverse transmission line is rb uh, we can consider that ra is equal to rb that is consider that ra is almost equal to rb and we can also say that both of them are equal to something let's say r okay also one more thing to see here is that the distance between two of the conductors uh, the, taken from the center is d and uh, the distance uh, of between a point p on the uh, between uh, the two transmission line and from the first transmission line the distance between p and uh, uh, the first transmission line is x taken from the center okay so these are the things that you have to keep in mind now what is the distance of the return path from the point p it will be d minus x right because if 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 the distance between two transmission line is d and the distance between one transmission line and the point p is x so definitely the other will be d minus x so these are the basic things that you have to keep in mind also we have to consider one more thing that d is much much greater than r that is radius of the first conductor or of the second conductor they are very small as if compared to distance between them so uh, because of that what we can say that if a factor of d minus r comes we can say that d minus r is almost equal to d okay that's what it actually means now let us go into the analysis so uh, if i talk about the electric field at point p due to both of the transmission line what it will be it will be given something like ex equal to okay ex equal to q upon 2 pi epsilon naught x okay this is what we know why i am taking x because the distance between the first conductor and point p is x and we are finding the impact at point p and the next will be due to the second conductor it is also carrying charge q and the same factor will be there 2 pi epsilon naught but what will be the distance just now i told you the distance will be d minus x okay because distance between both conductor is d and distance between one conductor and point p is x so it happens to be d minus x or we can simply write q upon 2 pi epsilon naught 1 upon x plus 1 upon d minus x we can write it okay now one thing that i want to clear here is that q is not charge but it is charge density you must keep in mind okay it is charge density what is charge density coulomb per meter that is charge carried by the conductor per unit length that is charge carried by the conductor per unit length that is known as the charge density so q is not charge q is charge density keep in mind now we know what is electric field intensity we know e is equal to minus dv dx right we know that so if i try to find out v what it will be if i try to find out v it will be in minus integration of e dx right so same thing will be happening here you will we will be, uh, we'll be talking about the voltage so v is the voltage so v is equal to minus integration taken from r to d minus r why i am taking r to d minus r now why i am taking r to d minus r see here 
we are taking r to d minus r here because we want to find the voltage and we want to analyze it from the surface to surface okay here the d distance that has been taken it has been taken from the center of the first conductor to the center of the second conductor but what we just discussed that corona losses happen around the surface of the conductor due to the air okay so the impact should be calculated from surface to surface of the conductor so the sur if surface to surface is taken so the surface of the first conductor is starts from r and the surface of the next conductor up to that the distance will be d minus r okay so because of that we will be taking from r to d minus r and not from 0 to d or something like that okay so d is the distance from center to center whereas r to d minus r is specifically about the distance between both the conductor taken from surface to surface now so r to d minus r e x dx okay e x dx we find we found out what is e x dx it is this q by 2 pi epsilon naught 1 plus 1 by x plus d 1 by d minus x so we'll put it here so it will be minus r to d minus r dx so when this is calculated it comes out to be that is from r to d minus r q by 2 pi epsilon naught 1 by x plus 1 by d minus x it comes out to be how much see here it comes out to be v equal to q upon pi epsilon naught ln d by r okay when you will calculate this it will come out to be d minus r but as i said that r is very small if compared to d so because of that we will take it almost equal to d okay so that's why it comes out to be d by r in actual calculation it will come out something like d minus r upon r okay so we have approximated here so keep it in mind now this is v equal to q by pi epsilon naught ln d by r now a while ago i found out e x equal to how much let me write it a while ago we found out e x equal to now what we can see from this equation we can find out the value of q upon pi epsilon naught okay so what it will be q upon pi epsilon naught will be equal to v upon ln d by r okay so we'll put it here simply so q upon pi epsilon naught we'll replace it with v upon 2 ln d by r y2 because it, in ex there is 2 pi epsilon naught in v there is no 2 the 2 cancels out okay so keep it in mind so here we will put v upon 2 ln d upon r okay and if we calculate this factor this one so this will come out to be d upon x d minus x is that correct okay so this is what it will come out to be now this v upon 2 is written as v dash we will write v upon 2 equal to v dash okay so this equation will basically be so basically from here we will get ex equal to how much v dash d upon x d minus x ln d upon r okay why you see here we converted v by 2 equal to v dash so it will be v dash d upon x my x into d minus x into ln d by r this will be what we will be getting okay clear so we have made v by 2 equal to v dash keep in mind now this v dash that we have found out or we have made this v dash is equal to line to neutral voltage okay line to neutral voltage in single phase system okay that means line to neutral half voltage and neutral to return half voltage okay so so this v dash uh, equal to v by 2 is known as the line to neutral voltage in single phase what is the v dash for three phase 
for three phase if you analyze in the similar way you will get v dash to be equal to v upon root 3 okay this v will be v line of course v line upon root 3 okay that is the line voltage divided by root 3 is v dash and we also know that line voltage when divided by root 3 is v phase okay so keep in mind so this is what about the voltage now a while ago i talked about the dielectric strength dielectric strength is denoted by g okay for air it is uh, denoted by g0 g0 is the dielectric strength of the air so dielectric strength is generally denoted by g in case of air g uh, the dielectric strength is denoted by g0 so g0 is how much it is 30 kv per centimeter i told you that uh, we calculate uh, the dielectric strength in volt per centimeter so 30 kilovolt per centimeter this is the peak point okay that is when the voltage of the transmission line or any such system goes beyond 30 kilovolt the air molecule breaks apart okay the air molecule breaks apart the air molecule ionizes that's what is dielectric strength so for air it is 30 kilovolt per centimeter you can say this is the limitation of the voltage beyond which the air molecule will not be intact it will it will now behave as a conductor it will not behave as a insulator which it basically works like now so in general uh, we denote the dielectric strength by g so by uh, from there what we can write uh, and another thing that I told you about is the critical disruptive voltage. What I told you that when the dielectric strength is equal to the maximum electric field. Okay. Maximum electric field. We found out EX. Okay. This one. This is the electric field intensity or electric field. So, uh, when the maximum of that electric field is equal to the dielectric strength of the air we reach the critical disruptive voltage what is the critical disruptive voltage beyond which the corona discharge will happen so when the dielectric strength equals to e max that is the situation that we want to find out and from there only we can get the voltage at which the corona discharge will happen or beyond which the corona discharge will happen that is the critical disruptive voltage so what will be the e max we know that the maximum electric field intensity or the maximum electric field is only at the surface of the conductor that is if we have a conductor something like this so the maximum stress or the maximum electric field intensity can only be felt at the surface of the conductor right this is from the basic physics we know so what was the equation that we had from uh, of ex what we got v dash d upon x into d minus x let me write it for e max it will be v dash d upon r d minus r y r i just told you that the maximum electric field intensity happens at the surface of the conductor so surface of the conductor whenever the surface of the conductor is indicated that means we will be taking the radius of the conductor okay x was any distance but r means from the surface of the conductor okay so it will be so x will be replaced by r okay e max happens at x equal to r let me write it here specifically at x equal to r okay so now v dash d uh, into r d minus r and what we have ln d by 2 okay so it will be ln d by r not d by 2 sorry okay so this is what this is what we are getting okay now i told you that whenever d minus r comes we will replace the d minus r with d okay so same thing we will be uh, we, here we will be doing so this will be replaced by d and this d and this d cancels out so final equation is something like this let me write it on the next page so it will be e max equal to so this is the maximum electric field intensity okay and eventually this is also when this is equal to g that is the dielectric strength 
okay so at this situation the corona discharge happens okay corona discharge happens so the corona takes place when e max equal to g so from here we can say that v dash is nothing but the critical disruptive voltage in that case okay so the critical disruptive voltage if i denote it by vcr or something like that so it will be r g ln d upon r correct r g l n d upon r so this is the equation of the critical disruptive voltage why i am saying it to be critical disruptive voltage because at this voltage we are getting that the electric field intensity is maximum and at the same time this maximum electric field intensity is also equal to the dielectric strength of the air or any medium it is passing through so because of that we can say that this is this is the voltage beyond which the air surrounding the conductor loses its dielectric strength and the corona discharge happens okay so higher the v critical lower is the chances of having any corona discharge in a high voltage transmission line okay so this is the equation of a critical disruptive voltage now let us uh, look some more thing now until now what uh, we talked about is the condition uh, at normal temperature pressure okay this is the condition when the temperature is normal and the pressure is normal so under this uh, this thing happens but uh, corona discharge is not exactly or only related to the voltage or the dielectric strength it has a lot of things we have to take into the consideration like the moisture of the air the atmosphere how it is uh, the uh, all other things the temperature the pressure around so if the conditions are not ntp okay if the condition is not normal temperature pressure so we take a factor that is delta okay let me write it in another ink so we take an another factor delta what is delta delta is factor denoting conditions other than ntp okay other than ntp so if the temperature pressure is not normal we will take delta so if delta is introduced so g becomes equal to g0 delta okay what is g0 i told you g0 is the dielectric strength of the air here we have said e max equal to g you can say g or g0 okay so g becomes equal to g0 delta that is the actual dielectric uh, strength this delta is the factor that denotes conditions other than ntp more specifically what we can say about delta delta is equal to an equation is given okay it has been found experimentally that delta is nothing but it is equal to 3.92 b upon 273 plus t okay now two more things are introduced what is this b b is nothing but relative air density relative air density okay and what is t t is the temperature temperature of the atmosphere or the surface around okay that is the temp uh, atmospheric temperature at uh, non normal temperature and pressure okay so delta is given by this equation 3.92 b upon 273 plus t okay so you can keep this in mind however it is not much important if you uh, solve any problem most of these things are not asked but just for the information i have in, uh, given it here okay so g becomes equal to g0 delta now at that point what happens the equation that we found out about v critical what we got we got this equation v critical equal to how much see here r g l and d by r but now g is equal to g0 delta so we will write r g0 delta ln d upon r so this is the equation of the critical disruptive voltage this comes out in kilovolt so keep in mind always this voltage comes out in kilovolt why because the dielectric strength of the air is itself 30 kilovolt okay so it cannot be in volts or 
it it cannot be millivolts or something like that it will always be in kilovolts okay so this is the unit of the v, uh, critical disruptive voltage now there is another thing now there is one more thing the critical disruptive voltage is not only dependent on this much factor to take into account a comprehensive formula we write vcr equal to r m g0 delta ln d upon r okay this is the exact and the most appropriate equation of the critical disruptive voltage what is m m is nothing but a factor denoting the irregularity of the surface of the conductor okay that is the corona discharge also depends on uh, the uh, surface irregularities we uh, we are drawing a conductor something like this okay we assume it to be straight but there are some surface irregularities if you see uh, due this is due to moisture due to uh, harsh weather or something like that because of that uh, the overall uh, transmission line is not smooth and uh, because of that the critical disruptive voltage is impacted so m is the factor which uh, is taken into account for uh, calculating uh, the irregularity for smooth and polished surfaces m is equal to 1 okay if the uh, if it is a smooth for rough surface okay let me write it this is for smooth for rough surface m equal to 0.92 0.92 to 0.98 uh, this is the range and uh, for uh, rough or stranded conductor more uh, something like that for stranded conductor okay stranded conductor we know is uh, conductors are stranded in practical use so stranded conductor the m is ranges from 0.82 to 0.88 this is the range so clearly you can see for a smooth surface m is equal to 1 what does this indicate that indicates that v critical will be similar to the condition that we arrived here for a rough or stranded conductor m decreases so because of that v critical decreases so that means more chances of happening a corona discharge that's why we say that in a rough surface if the conductor has a rough surface if the conductor is not smooth the chances of happening a corona discharge increases okay similarly uh, you can also see that uh, the temperature you can see here that uh, what is the impact of the temperature if the temperature goes down so what will happen this delta increases and if delta increases we go, we saw here that if delta increases what happens v critical increases so if v critical increases that means the chances of happening a corona discharge is minimum now if the temperature if the temperature increases so because of that what will happen this overall thing that is 273 plus t that also increases okay so if this increases delta decreases and because of that the critical disruptive voltage decreases so critical disruptive voltage uh, you can say in conclusion that it is not something which is constant it depends on a number of factors smoothness uh, distance between the conductors why distance because we see that d is there so it depends upon the distance of the conductor higher the distance higher will be the v critical and hence less chances of happening any corona uh, similarly it depends on the atmospheric conditions as well we saw the impact of temperature we saw the impact of pressure uh, that is denoted by delta we also saw the impact of the um, uh, dielectric strength and we have uh, taken into account the smoothness of the conductor so everything uh, has been indicated into the equation just keep in mind that whenever the v critical increases that doesn't mean that the corona loss will increase in fact the reverse is true with increase in v critical the corona chances of happening a corona discharge or corona loss is minimum okay so the temperature pressure is something we cannot control but what we can control is the quality of the conductor it should be more smooth the higher the smoothness higher degree of smoothness higher will be the v critical what we can also control is the distancing between the two conductors but it should be also taken into account that the communication line or any other uh, you know radio interference doesn't happen between the lines okay so that also should be taken into account
these are the things uh, and uh, there is one more equation which needs no derivation but i will try to put it here uh, this is about the corona loss this equation that we found out was of the critical disruptive voltage and the corona loss is given as kilowatt per phase per kilometer okay so keep it in mind okay so what is delta we saw it is the factor uh, which uh, denotes the conditions other than ntp what is f frequency okay so you can see that with the increase in frequency the corona losses increase why because it is pc is directly proportional to f plus 25 okay r is the radius of the conductor d is the distance taken from one conductor to another taken from the center okay so it should be mentioned and vcr is the critical disruptive voltage and v is the voltage of the transmission line okay so v minus vcr that it is itself explanatory so uh, the corona loss is directly proportional to the frequency inversely proportional to delta why because delta is directly proportional to the critical disruptive voltage so the factors which are directly proportional to critical disruptive voltage are indirectly related to the corona loss and vice versa so this is the thing that you can keep in mind so the factor which causes the critical disruptive voltage to increase that helps in mitigating the corona loss okay so that's all about the corona discharge and corona loss and we also saw the critical disruptive voltage we discussed about the uh, dielectric strength its impact and uh, we also tried to find out uh, some equations by which we can calculate various things we also saw factors which are impacting the corona discharge and corona loss i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any feedback suggestion query anything you can put them in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do press the bell icon notification button share this video with your friends this is vivek chaube and i will see you next time